Okay, I got a little something that you guys will probably find interesting about New Super Mario Brothers here. Um, whenever you record uh, New Super Mario Brothers in 4 to 3 ratio, that's the TV that I have, so that's what I have to record it as, otherwise this thing will be very, very squished and hard to play on. So I just uh, do the whole letterboxing thing. But this is something very interesting that I never expected when I started recording this, is take a look at this. Like, you'll see screens like this over here off to the right. Looks normal, right? It's at 4 to 3 ratio right there. And let's go over to some gameplay. Okay, now you see that it's got the full letterboxing around it like that, right? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to crop that video right before your eyes just to show you how I do this sort of thing. And uh, let's go over to that point in the video. I'm just going to add a keyframe just to uh, um, <clears throat> just to make something, you know, so I can show you the aspect ratio as I go. Now you notice that there's this little little box around the whole thing like this, right? Okay, now let's line this up with the... Uh, huh... Why is there black off to the left and right sides? Huh. I thought this played in six, you know, the gameplay played in 16 to 9 only. No, for some reason when you're playing it on a 4 to 3 screen, it actually isn't a true 16 to 9 ratio. But cropping it like this with those tiny black bars off to the left and right side certainly is a lot better than, than uh, you know, just having the whole thing... Yeah, Hey, let me drag this, thank you. You know, having this whole thing black all around the edges. Uh, the next thing that I would like to note is map screens. Um, if you go over to like any, like a map like this, you know, the world map. This is the desert, which you'll be seeing a little bit later. I'm just going to uh, add the keyframe to this. And let's put the box around this one here. And... Huh, it doesn't seem to match up either. There's a little bit of black up at the top and up at the bottom. So while it matches up to the right and left sides of the map screen, it doesn't match to the top to the top and bottom exactly. So that would make gameplay like this something like oh 15 to 9 ratio. And uh, map screens like this, probably something like 17 to 9 ratio. And the title screens or map screens such as this, the actual 4 to 3 screen ratio. Why does it do that? I don't know why it does that. It's, it's so weird. But it does it, and it's there. I just thought you guys might find that interesting. Oh, and uh, loading screens. I should show off a loading screen here. Um, loading screens, for some reason, they are also 4 to 3 ratio. Let's just go over to here we go. Let's just, let's add a keyframe right here. See that? See the boxes on the inside of this World 2-1 uh, banner there? Let's just add a keyframe so I can uh, modify that. Like so. No, no, no. Okay, control Z, please. Oh, maybe the keyframes are too, uh, too close together. Excuse me. Let's remove that keyframe just so I can make a new one here. Uh, I'll explain what keyframes are if you don't know what they are in a later video. I gotta show how my editor works one of these days. And, uh, you know, just because I showed you how the what equipment I have and what and whatnot like that. Now, you see this? Now, if this was on a uh, um, 4 to 3 ratio screen, this would look perfect. But it's not, and it ends up on a... Uh, oh, shoot. It, it looks like... Uh, it gets cropped off because I'm using a 16 to 9 ratio when I crop the video, to, you know, make it full screen rather than having it stuck right in the center. I just leave it cropped off because it would be kind of pointless to just do this for the each, and every, each and every one of these loading screens. I could do that and I just might do it uh, anyway because it's, it'll be pretty easy to do so. Um, I would like to... Uh, there we go, that's what I wanted to do. Um, this is the wor world, wait, no, wait, uh, that's the gameplay, uh, keyframe right there, and this is the banner. See how it, uh, flows over the gameplay, uh, crop there? See that, the crop on the gameplay, it only has the black bars on the sides, so that means it's as small as I can make it without cutting off, like, the score or the, li the life counter. Like, if I, uh, crop it down to here, I'll cut off a bunch of the, 
uh, I should say a little bit at the bottom of the screen and the top of the screen, as well as some of the score and live life counter thing, whatever. So I always leave it at something like that and leave, just leave the black bars on the side because there's nothing I can do about that unless I buy a whole new TV and I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go back to this one and look at that. Sure enough, it's uh, cropped off. What I would do to fix that is simply, um, if I if I decide to fix this in the future, I just might do that, is expand the area that it shows like this, just to get the whole banner in and leave it at the top of the screen, and then, you know, just cut out that area, just to work on this area only, and then work on the rest of the parts, like the gameplay, and the map normally. So, uh, yeah, I thought you guys might find this interesting. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Oh, and that's why I got those black bars and cut off at times. Toodaloo!